Hey everyone, this is Jess from Stellar Tarot, and today I wanted to demonstrate for you a, a project that you can do at the beginning of the year to either coincide with your word of the year or to coincide with some of your goals and dreams that you might have for the coming year. And that's to make um, a vision board. And a vision board is nothing more than a uh, large piece of cardboard, oh, hello, Luna, um, or uh, even just a small piece of paper. And you uh, cut out images from magazines, pictures, <laughs> other things like that. And you uh, then place them, glue them onto a, that board or paper and then hang it where you can see it on a regular basis uh, to keep you in line with the dreams and goals that you have for the coming year. Um, I've already gone ahead and I uh, gathered some of the things I've been saving for a while as well as um, grabbed a journal or uh, sorry a journal a magazine which I'm going to cut some images out of and then I'm going to go ahead and get started on putting together my vision board. So um, I'm just going to fast forward uh, through most of um, my process and then we'll take a look at the finished product at the end. Enjoy guys!
everyone. So my vision board for 2019 is finished. Um, I've got a lovely little stick here, which I'm going to be pointing to the different things and just kind of talking about some of the things that are on my vision board. I'm probably not going to explain everything, uh, but I will explain some of the things that are there. So first is my word for 2019, and that is alchemy. To me, alchemy encompasses so many concepts. Um, obviously, it started off as uh, the practice of transforming base elements and metals and trying to transform them into gold. Um, but to me, it also encompasses this idea of exploration and magic, experimentation, learning from your mistakes. Uh, it... Um, has a lot to do for me with uh, the temperance card so that implies a lot of balance and um, kind of learning how to combine opposing forces and for me i really want to alchemize um, my mundane life with my spiritual life and so some of the things i am doing um, in order to accomplish that is i'm going to be getting back into yoga and I am going to be allowing my daughter to kind of participate in that process because I'm going to be doing a lot of the yoga at home and during the day when she's here. And so that will mean that I have a lot of opportunities to teach her about things like breath work, controlling your body, uh, learning how to stay physically balanced as well as mentally balanced and things like that. Um, but it also meant that I ended up creating a secondary channel, which is called Stellar Life, in case you're not aware of it. I will link the channel below um, in the description box. And that is, for me, about putting uh, some other aspects of my life um, up on YouTube for viewing's sake and uh, for other people to kind of digest and partake in. So... Yeah, for me, alchemy is going to be a really big part of my year and uh, taking in a lot of the concepts um, that I have been learning and really putting them into practice and experimenting with them. So these are the three cards, uh, postcards that came with my uh, Wisdom Keepers Oracle. And I really wanted to put them on my vision board because I thought they were all such amazing concepts to showcase. Humanity, obviously, for me, uh, connecting with my fellow humans uh, in various communities is very important to me. And um, a, a subscriber and, and a viewer sent me a message a little while ago, kind of criticizing my recommendation of a certain product um, because she felt that it was is toxic and it didn't really um, have a place in our community. And I uh, really wanted me to, to showcase this concept because I was a teacher and a leader in the community. And I never really thought of it like that before. Um, I guess I just figured I was being somewhat helpful by imparting some of my knowledge. I never really thought of myself as anyone that a whole bunch of people look up to. Um, but I realized that in putting things on YouTube, I have invariably placed myself into that role. And so I really wanted to kind of um, embody some of the leadership qualities that I would expect in a leader and uh, to kind of level up and step up, I guess. And diplomacy, well, that's something that I attempt to have in all situations anyways. I try my best to be uh, diplomatic whenever I am talking to other people. I, I feel like if I am putting myself out there in the community than I am in some ways um, acting as a diplomat for the uh, Wiccan and Pagan and, and Witchy and Tarot communities on YouTube in case other people come across it. So I do my best to kind of conduct myself with some dignity, with uh, some, you know, to have some articulate nature in my videos. I, I try to make sure that when I'm putting content out there that it's something that I'm proud of and that it's something that if uh, other people come across who don't share my views they at least respect them at the end of it and I, I think that's a very important thing um, to do when you are placing yourself out there in the public eye. So uh, diplomacy was something that I really felt called to put up on their in there and, and in placing all three of these cards uh, on here I feel like that is part of my journey with alchemy 
I recycled some of the cards that I had on previous vision boards. So Sensuality, uh, this was actually a damaged card that came initially in my Awakened Soul Oracle and Ebony was kind enough to send me a replacement card immediately. And so I kept the damaged card um, and placed it onto my uh, vision board. Uh, the Three of Wands and uh, the Ace of Wands, these were bonus, uh, I think like postcards or cards that came when I ordered my copy of uh, Tarot of the Crone. Uh, this and this and this were recycled from my previous vision boards as well. So this is initially a card that my husband gave to me. Uh, it's a Moon Goddess artwork from uh, Josephine Wall, who's one of my favorite fantasy artists. Um, the She Power was a bonus, I think like a postcard or something that came when I ordered my, uh, um, what's it called, uh, Sassy She Oracle by Lisa Lister. And then um, this is a, a v image of Kanunos or the horned god that I have printed off from the Google images years ago. I forget the name of the artist, but if you put in type in uh, the horned god, you're going to find that image almost immediately in a Google search. Uh, some new items that have hit my uh, vision board. Um, this was a, uh, this is a mother rabbit cuddling her baby rabbit. This was actually a card that was given to me by a good friend of mine, Chelsea, when I was pregnant uh, with my son, Andrew. So this card is like eight years old. <laughs> um, it's not the card itself, it's the artwork that was on the front of it. I've always loved that image, you know, being underground, being candlelit and having the, the nature and stuff around it. It always seemed, not only does it seem kind of cute, but it also seems rather spiritual to me. It's the sense of motherhood starting off as a hidden thing. You know, it's very internal. You can't see when someone is pregnant for the first several months. And the changes that are happening are very underground and magical. And the bond is happening before you ever get to hold your child. And to me, that really embodies how I feel about how motherhood starts and the journey of it starts and that sacred nature and how it kind of ties into um, how the mother goddess works in terms of uh, the earth and kind of coming to light and coming back to life in the spring and how it is a very hidden thing, a very slow and, you know, unconscious almost process it begins to happen. The earth starts to thaw. Life starts to happen underneath the soil where we can't see. Shoots are, are coming back to life. Uh, bulbs and roots are beginning to grow where we can't see them. And, and it just seems to really encapsulate and encompass so many thoughts that I have about the earth and the divine nature of it. Uh, this was a card uh, that was um, just a thank you note that was included when I purchased... I think it was either the Oracle of Oddities or it may have even been um, the uh, Antique Anatomy Ephemera Edition Tarot. Um, so this is from Claire Goodchild. So I just, I thought it was really beautiful. I don't even remember which uh, particular uh, zodiac sign this is supposed to depict. I'm, I'm not very good at that. Uh, but I just thought it was a beautiful image and I wanted to include it. Um, it, it looks very spiritual and that kind of reinforces the alchemy uh, concept that I have for the year. Uh, this was a postcard that was sent um, to me when I traded for the Marigold Tarot. She, it had been something that had been uh, given to her when um, the person who had uh, purchased the deck and uh, obviously traded with me for it uh, had received and so she gave it to me as part of our trade which I thought was really lovely and that is the death card from the Marigold Tarot and obviously death is a huge part of um, my working with the Morrigan and um, how I envision alchemy and stuff you know sometimes when you are bringing new things into being other things have to die or at the very least change and transform and since that is a part of death, I really felt it was pertinent to include it. Um, this was a uh, image from a card that my husband gave to me several years ago. 
I'm not even sure what the occasion was for anymore. Um, I just, I cut the image out of it and placed it on there. It's very magical looking, uh, you know, the two rabbits together in the full moonlight with all the flowers. It looks almost like it could be a depiction of the lover's card or some sort, or like even the two of cups maybe. And again, alchemy is about bringing two different forces together. And so I thought that that was a lovely and kind of romantic way to visualize alchemy. Uh, this is the, um, is another like a thank you card from Joey Morris from Starry Eyed Supplies and I got it from her this past summer when I ordered some products from her. Um, and I love Joey Morris and I think she is very magical and I just wanted to include that card on something and since I associate Joey's products with magic and all of that good stuff, it seemed like a reasonable uh, image to depict on my uh, vision board. This and this are um, other bonus tarot card images that came when I purchased decks. So the sun is a bonus card, um, just an art card from the Ghosts and Spirits Tarot. And this one is the Fool card from the Ophelia Rosa Tarot. Neither one of them in particular, when I was first including them on here, seemed to speak to me of um, anything in particular to alchemy. But the more I thought about it, the Fool seemed like a very natural thing to include. After all, this is my beginning journey with the uh, the concept and the word of alchemy. And who knows where this journey is going to take me. And I thought that it was a very um, appropriate card to include after all. It also, I think, will serve as a very good reminder for me to keep that eternal student uh, mindset and um, attitude as I go throughout this year to never really assume that I am an expert or anything like that um, in this concept. So I, th I thought it was a very, um, a very good reminder of an attitude to continue to have as I go throughout the year. I still do not have any particular notion of what this particular card uh, can relate to, but it does appear very interesting and magical and undefinable, untouchable. And again, I think that that is a really important concept to have as you are coming into such a wide and um, almost undefinable concept of alchemy. And I thought that that was another good reminder of an attitude to continue to have as I move forward. Um, this obviously is just a nice image of a woman meditating underneath a tree. It's a good reminder of um, upkeeping my uh, meditation practice and how that ties into my journey as a witch. Uh, the lavender, I think, is probably pretty self-explanatory. I am a witch. I love to work with herbs and uh, lavender in particular is one of my favorite smells and it induces for me an instant state of calm and yet there is also a really big tie to um, uh, the goddess and magic in that uh, flower, in that herb. It is such, um, to me it just has so many purposes and so many uses that um, it, it needed to be included, if that makes any sense. And this is simply a um, business card that came from uh, one of my tattoo artists that I have had multiple tattoos from. And um, he and I have, uh, over time, developed, I wouldn't say necessarily a relationship or anything, but certainly a... Uh, um, an acquaintanceship. We, we've gotten to know each other a little bit over time and um, his work often ties into a lot of magical types of things. He, he uses uh, the uh, images of things like uh, the elements and other th and runes and stuff in his, a lot of his uh, artwork and this image itself really looks to me almost high priestess like and again that was instantly tied back to alchemy high priestess this magic worker this person who is so knowledgeable um, of all of the the different 
magical forces and intuition and, and all that good stuff. So it seemed really appropriate to include on there. And uh, this one over here was a bonus card that came with my uh, mini uh, Centennial Rider Waite Smith Tarot in a Tin. And it's just one of Pixie's artworks. And um, again, that really ties back to my practice of tarot being a part of my alchemical practice. And so it seemed really appropriate on there. And then from there, there's just some little stickers and uh, some decorations I included and my business cards. Uh, these are old versions of my business cards. I was running quite low on them. And so uh, when Vistaprint was having a sale, I ordered a, another box of them. And so I included a couple of my old business cards to remember that my business is part of my um, alchemizing uh, practice and uh, concepts for this year. So... I really wanted to um, include some of those and it's a good way to use up some of my older cards as well. So yeah guys, this is my vision board for 2019. Um, actually my previous two vision boards that I rescued some of my things from, I had actually kept for a couple of years. And it may end up being that uh, 2020 is a further exploration of alchemy. Who really knows? Uh, we shall find out when the time comes. Um, and so I may end up keeping this vision board for quite some time, but for now it is my 2019 one. I've had a wonderful time uh, creating it, and I sincerely hope that you will tell me what your word of the year is for 2019 in the comments below. And if you decide to create your own vision board, then I would love for you to share with me some images of yours. The best way to do this would be to... Um, I, post it on Instagram and then tag me at Stellar Rain Dancer on there so that we can, um, so that I can take a look at yours. I'm so interested to see what you would be doing. And uh, so yeah, I hope you guys have had a wonderful time creating this vision board with me. And until the next video, be well and blessed be.